Hey y'all, I'm Tiana Alexandra and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Yes, you read right, I am combing out my locks. I've had this set, which is my second set, for two years, three weeks, and one day as of today. And it's coming to an end. I actually already started combing them down. Three in the back, there's two on the side, and there's one at the top. In my one year lock update video, I do show the last time I straightened my hair, which was January of 2021. And my hair is a pretty decent length. I just wanna show you all that in comparison to how long it may be when it actually gets straightened now. Before I forget, I have 161 locks currently. I took six down, so y'all do the math. 161 take away six equals boom, whatever answer you just came up with in your head. So the products I'll be using to help comb my locks out today are this fine tooth rat tail comb. And yes, it is dirty. I told y'all I've already started. Some conditioner, a spray bottle with water and conditioner in it. And if I need it, a thumbtack to get the little tedious parts because I am trying to preserve my hair. And if you hear that baby in the background, that's my baby. So that's just what it is. So now let's just fast forward to clips of me combing out my locks while I sit here and tell you all why I even locked them up again in the first place and why I'm taking them down. In my lock Q&A video, I answered the question, when did I lock my hair and why did I lock my hair? And the answer was, I started my second set of locks, which is this right here, March 11th of 2021, using the finger coil method that were perfectly fine for me, as you all can see right here. And what made me want to lock my hair was I needed to free up some time and some money and I was just trying to be in go mode. It's going to allow me the freedom to be able to not have to worry about my hair and focus more on me internally. So what I did not detail in that answer because I didn't think that people needed to be all in my business like that and frankly I don't think people care about you in that capacity. In January of 2021, my daughter's father actually passed. It just kind of, I don't know, it does something to you when the other half of your child is like literally not on the earth. They don't have any ability to cultivate a relationship or make things better or it was just a lot. And it sent me in a, a bit of a depressive state and I felt like, okay, I need to be in go mode. I need to be able to use all my time to be able to make money doing other people's hair, which was my full-time job. I figure if I'm not wasting time with my hands doing my own hair, that's a head that could be helping provide for my daughter. I also had started to neglect my loose natural hair out of just being sad and it was just not a good time. I feel like that was not the right basis to start my lock journey on, especially since I believe that hair holds energy and, oh bless you baby, with my locks holding in the hair that was supposed to shed. I feel like that energy is still within my locks. And then people just kept dying. I lost three very important family members, actually four. So I was experiencing all of these things and all of these very deep emotions. I was to the point probably like a week ago where I was just wanted to cut them off. I actually feel the most badass with short hair. If you ever had a shortcut, then you probably know what I'm talking about. I feel fucking invincible nobody can beat my ass like that's that's really just how i feel with short hair so i was just you know like let's go ahead start right here boom boom, boom. let's just chop it all off but i told myself let's just see what it does when you know i comb them out let's see how much it grew and if you still feel like cutting it off then do it i have gained people who are following me because of my hair and i felt like oh no if i comb them out i'm going to be disappointing those people but i cannot live my life for anybody else or because some people in a lot community might bully me for combing them down and in a sense i started to feel like i was basically locked into having locks i don't like feeling restricted in any way especially because in all my years i've always seen my hair as something that allowed me to be able to show my creativity and also when i feel like there are parts of my life that i cannot control when i feel like i need to have a some type of grasp on things because other parts of my life aren't going the way that i want to i change my hair it just gives me a sense of power i'm really just proud of myself that i even made it this far because i did comb my first set out at five months and i made it to two years with this set so i just think that's really good especially with all that was going on these set of locks were my depression locks i just it's, it's time for them to go so i'm just combing them out i'm ready to see my loose natural hair again too 
I won't lie, I'm not ready for the maintenance, especially blow drying. I don't feel like I'm gonna lose any thickness. Like I've never experienced my hair being thin, but again, I am postpartum. I don't know what comes with like the postpartum shedding or if I even am experiencing that. The lock journey is a commitment and you don't have the instant gratification right away of having your hair the way that you desire. With my locks, you know, I, been trying to reach a goal and the goal was like to have them touch down to my you know boob area and just be that long so that I can um experience having long locks but uh I won't lie I've been feeling a little weight of my locks since they dropped and I know they're not super long or anything like that but I do know that my hair is extremely thick so maybe that's a thing but I know that once they're combed out it's gonna be like a weight is lifted off my shoulder. So I'm ready to be light as a feather again. And there's nothing wrong with my locks as far as the, you know, uh, aesthetics go. Minus the length. The length is the problem, one of the problems. But other than that, like they look pretty good, you know? Another reason outside of the spiritual aspect of these being depression locks and getting me through a time where I probably would have neglected my loose natural hair and had to cut it all off anyway um they have dandruff on the inside of the lock shaft like i've been experiencing scalp issues that i haven't experienced with my loose natural hair some of the locks in the back the smaller ones have been like fused together by lint there's actually been more lint than i thought i actually had i don't like that i'm not one to just uh put a band-aid over which would be me dyeing my hair and then just be okay with it like i'm always thinking about that in the back of my head i convinced myself to keep my locks and i've convinced myself to comb them out i went back and forth with myself for a while and the fact that i even keep thinking about it i just gotta do what my heart is telling me to do and I still love hair. Hair videos will still come. So um, I'll just see where that goes because I was doing those types of videos before I had ever had locks. And um, back to me combing my locks out. So I finally have all 161 locks taken out of my head and it took me two whole weeks. Yes, 14 whole days, exactly. And let me just get into the time it took to take down the lock. So when I first started, I had to get the groove of it. It took me about 45 minutes to comb out one lock at a time. And it stayed like that for probably the first three days. And then I was able to get it down to about 15 minutes as I neared, you know, the end of the lock takedown process. So this is how much hair I lost. And can you believe my hair is still like extremely thick? I promise you this bag got away like at least two pounds. I actually want to weigh it on the scale, but this is a whole Walmart bag full of hair. That's all hair. I could have finished taking my locks down quicker than 14 days, but with having a newborn, she obviously requires a lot of my time and attention and it forced me to have to move at a slower pace, which was actually perfect because it allowed me to be more gentle with my locks. And I feel like that aided in me being able to retain a lot of the length. So this is what my hair looked like before the trim compared to what it looks like now. So if you look at the ends, you'll see where it's transparent at and that's where I experienced breakage, split ends, and knots. Now that the damaged hair is cut off, it's easier to run my fingers straight through my hair without getting any knots or any kinks and it feels really, really, really good. And I'm gonna keep it real with y'all, I was not expecting this much length. So if you can imagine my shock when I combed out the first lock successfully, whew. I also wanted to touch on another reason why I took my locks out in the first place. Whenever I would do lock styling videos, the styles were cute and they were cool, but I was never able to leave them in. Whenever I would even try to attempt to have my hair up in a ponytail, even without the elastic like doubled or I could just have it, you know, just on like this without tying it like extra times. And I'm telling you, my head would hurt so bad it will always be some type of tension headache, but I've worn my hair to bed in a bun for about what, two days in a row and I don't have any pain whatsoever. I can manipulate my head. My scalp doesn't hurt anymore. It's not tender. It's like I never had the pain that I felt when I had locks and that's wonderful to feel again. I'm also enjoying being able to fully run my hands through my hair. It just feels so good. I don't regret my decision to comb out my locks at all. 
down. So if you're considering combing out your locks and you're on a fence about it, just take time to consider your lifestyle and what would be best for you. Honestly, with me having a newborn, keeping the locks probably would have been easier, but I was not happy. So I feel more like myself. I feel like I have a piece of myself back and I just, <sighs> I feel really, really good. I know a lot of you have subscribed to me because I was doing lock content. So I understand if I don't fit the type of YouTuber that you wanna see on your timeline. And if you do have to unsubscribe, I just thank you for being a part of the journey anyway. And I welcome those of you who wanna stay or those of you who are new to my channel. I will continue to do hair content because I absolutely love hair and just grow with me as I grow my inches back that I had to clip off and grow with me in life. So yeah thank you for watching make sure you like comment and subscribe i will see you all next time bye